Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back inside Destiny. Now, I've been yeah. trying a lot of different skincare products lately. Um, my skin has definitely changed since pregnancy, and I still have events and stuff to go to, so I really want to make sure, you know, my skin, hair, everything is on point. Uh, that way I'm ready to go. So, um, one of the things that I've been doing is kind of trying a bunch of stuff, and I don't know, I have so much product in my bathroom, I felt like I kind of wanted to go back, give things a second chance, see how I like them, or see if I really, really didn't like them. So this video is gonna be all about products that I thought I hated. These are products that I tried or kind of didn't really give a chance and uh, immediately kind of put them on the back burner and was like, I don't really like this. But then, you know, after a couple times of using it, I kind of came around and decided that I really do like these products. Some of these are a variety of different things. Some of these are natural products, some of them aren't. So just to FYI, for some of you that, you know, have been watching my channel for a while and know that I do some natural products. So I will be mixing in some things here and there. So the first thing that I want to start out with and say that I was absolutely wrong about is the Clark's Botanical um, Night Cream. Oh, the Retinol Rescue Overnight Cream. So when I first got this in uh, my makeup subscription bag, I kind of like looked at the pack and was like, oh, the packaging looks a little cheap. Keep in mind, they do send you like some sample sizes for stuff that's a little bit more expensive. So, um, I don't know, I just looked at the packaging, I totally judged it by its cover and wrote it off. Then I kind of smelled it and was like, okay, it smells really nice, but this isn't really what I'm looking for. Like, I don't know if this is natural, I don't really know what's in it, blah, 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 whatever. Put it on the back burner. Then, when I ran out of my Holy Grail face cream um, by Andalou that I absolutely love, I was like, okay, I need some sort of moisturizer just in the meantime until I go to the store. So what did I do? I started using this, I started kind of checking it out, uh, putting it on my face, and like fell in love with it. This stuff is amazing. Like when you put it on your face, it just feels so light and cooling and um, it just kind of like melts in. It's not super thick, it's not super dense, and your face just feels amazing when you wake up in the morning. And it just has this like, uh, no, it's kind of like almost a sweet candy smell a little bit. But then you almost get like this shea butter and this kind of natural oil, almond oil kind of thing going on. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but it just, it smells so, so good. And I found myself like excited at night to do my skincare routine so I could hurry up and put this on. Then I went online and was like, okay, I might as well just pick some up just in case. For the container that's maybe like the size of my original cream container like this size it was $98 so that kind of deterred me a little bit it almost made me want to put it back in the category of like things that I don't really like and will never like again but I cannot deny that this stuff is actually amazing and if you have the coin to spin you know try it see if you can get a sample size and try it out it's amazing but she was pricey all right next um, on my list of things that I thought I hated is the Rasool clay um, sulfate free shampoo by Carol's daughter so um, a while back I did a video on how shampoo ruined my natural hair so I kind of completely cut out all shampoos I was just not having it my hair wasn't happy my scalp wasn't happy so I started doing my own like baking soda mixed in apple cider vinegar uh, shampoo and conditioner and I kind of like lived off that for a while and didn't really involve any other products so um, I was on eBay one day and some store I don't know they had like a huge clearance sale and they had a bunch of these and we're just kind of getting rid of them so I decided to buy one um, you know it was on sale it was super cheap like four or five bucks or something like that and this is usually a lot more expensive in the stores for those of you that have natural hair and buy Carol's daughter so I was like you know what? I'll just try it out and maybe use it on days when I really don't feel like making my baking soda mix when I really don't feel like you know just going through all that extra extra so tried this out and my scalp ended up loving it like it really got rid of my flakes um, it really got my hair super clean without stripping it. It almost has like a really thick like shea butter smell to it. Like it's a very strong natural shea butter like richness to it and uh, your hair doesn't feel dry at all. So I actually ended up falling in love with this and at first I thought like okay I'll just use this on days when I'm being really really lazy and I know I'm not gonna like it. But I ended up really really loving this. Um, no it's just it smells really really good and it works pretty well. So for the price that I got it at you know I was fine. Okay next is the... Ariza Beauty Dewy Glow Balm for, lip, for skin, lips, and nails. So this is another thing that I got in my makeup subscription bag. Something else that I just, I just really wasn't excited about. And I feel like all these makeup companies are jumping on the bandwagon with like all-in-one balms that you can use on your lips and your face and your hands and your nails and all this kind of stuff. Especially with a lot of um, the brands that are coming out now that really are going for that like natural model look. You guys know some of the brands that I'm talking about. Um, so I don't know, I just wasn't excited about this. And one day I was going to bed, I was super, super tired. This was sitting on my nightstand. 
and I tried it and I put it in my hands and I was like, oh, this stuff kind of looks like Vaseline. Like, what is this like the new high-end version of Vaseline? Like I could just get Vaseline if this is all that it's gonna be. Rubbed it into my hands, went to sleep. And when I woke up in the morning, my hands were super, super soft. I smelled my hands, I put a little bit more on there, kind of rubbed it in. And this stuff has such a really nice, natural kind of like a sweet almond kind of, uh, Sorry about that guys, my memory card ran out. I did a fashion show this past uh, weekend um, that's gonna be up on the vlog, so check that out. Um, I'll link it somewhere up here, but I had so many different clips and stuff from that that I didn't realize I had no space on my memory card. So, um, and it just has the most amazing, like almost sweet almond, oatmeal-y kind of smell. I don't know, it just smells really good. And it has uh, vitamin E and rice bran oil, which is probably like what I'm smelling, that oatmeal-ish kind of scent. But okay, the thing about this is when you put it on your skin, at first it's kind of oily and Vaseline-like, but then it absorbs into your skin and your skin just feels really, really soft. So unlike Vaseline where you just kind of feel greasy throughout the day, this actually, almost dropped it, <laughs> this actually absorbs. So um, I don't know, this kind of became like my go-to, like I would put lotion on my hands, kind of put this over it to lock it in. I use it on my lips sometimes at night when I go to bed. Um, and you know, my nails look amazing um, with this on it as well. All right, next is a makeup product and this is the Tartist Lip Paint. So, um, there was a lot of mixed reviews about this when it came out. Some people were like, I love it. Some people were like, I hate it. I hate these lip tints. I hate how drying this is. And that was kind of me a little bit when I got this. So, you know, I got this, I put it on and I was kind of like, okay, it's kind of messy. The applicator isn't super precise. And this is one of those things like you put it on and it dries down like immediately. So you really have to know what you're doing. And I think that that's one of the things that really got me about this where I was just kind of like, I really don't want to use this product. Is it just, it was kind of messy at first, but it's like, if you can really get the application good and flawless, like I really take off a lot of product before I start applying, that way it doesn't get too crazy. And I make sure to put a little bit of chapstick on underneath. Um, this product, it lasts all day. It looks amazing. I actually wore this uh, to the fashion show that I just mentioned to you guys. So check that vlog out again. Um, I'm wearing this in the video. I don't know, it just, it goes on so beautifully and it looks amazing. Like, it looks amazing on camera, it looks amazing in person. It doesn't get all like crackly and, fl and flaky and stuff like that. Um, I did put on a little bit of chapstick over it just to make sure that my lips were prepped and nice and moisturized and then moisturized on top of this product. Um, and I think that definitely helped. So I will be using this again in the future and the color itself is just, it's gorgeous and it's a great product, so. Um, next I have the Nano Liner by Absolute New York. So as you guys can see, I definitely love, you know, winged liner. So when I got this, I was kind of like, okay, like this, like look at this, it's, it's so small. Ultra fine precision liquid liner. Okay, so I really wasn't excited about this. My eyelashes aren't super long. They're not super, super curly. So it's like when I put an eyeliner on, like I need that mess to pop out. So when I got this, I was kind of like, meh. This little flimsy liner, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. Like, is it a daytime look? I might as well just not even use it at all. But when I'm in a rush and I'm trying to go somewhere and just look like halfway decent, and I just put like a small little line over the top of my eye, like this thing really, really gets in there because my eyelashes, like, I don't know, they're kind of layered and staggered kind of awkwardly. So sometimes when I use a thicker eyeliner, it still looks like I have like a gap between the liner and my actual like eyelashes. So um, the thing about this is it really, really gets in there um, between those lashes and really makes my lash line look more full. So um, this has definitely become one of my favorites and go-tos when I'm in a rush and just really need to go run some errands or meet up with somebody for brunch and want to look awake. Next, okay, this has completely rubbed off because that's how long it was sitting in my makeup area um, without being used. And that is the Pacifica, it's some kind of lipstick by Pacifica. That's all I know. And it's in this like smaller tube and it's more of like a, not super, super matte, but slightly matte. When I first got this, um, it kind of smelled like crayons and that kind of turned me off. I used it a few times when I would film and I just kind of gave up on it. But same thing with the uh, Tardis lip paint is when I would add a little bit of chapstick, put this on, add a little bit of chapstick over it. I don't know, this became like such a nice, creamy, you know, wonderful application and then um, 
I don't know, it would kind of dry down a little bit and just have the most beautiful kind of like dusty color. And when you're out and about and you just want to throw on something real quick to make it look like you tried, you know, this is definitely a great product. I actually love Pacifica products just in general. I love that they're more on the natural side and um, they don't have a bunch of, you know, crap and junk and stuff in them. So I definitely love this, gave it a second try, and you know, um, again, I'm glad I did. And last but not least, I'm gonna throw this in there just because, and that's the CoverGirl uh, BB Cream Broad Spectrum uh, SPF 21 Tinted Moisturizer and Sunscreen. Very long name. Way back before Fenty came out, I was on the hunt for foundations. Now, for some of you that are makeup artists and can really tell by my skin type, like, I am a neutral. I cannot go pink and I cannot go ashy gray slash yellow. Like it really, really needs to be a nice kind of golden neutral, somewhere like definitely in the middle of that pink and yellow spectrum without getting ashy. So I was roaming around the store at Target. The lady there was trying to help me swatch, grabbed like a bunch of cheap foundations for me, let me take them home. And I tried this and was just like, okay, it's BB cream. You're supposed to be able to put this on by itself and just walk out and this had me looking crazy. It's very, very pink. It's very, very much on that pink side of the spectrum and I looked weird. So I kind of gave up on this product. However, when Fenty came out, Fenty has my, sh my summer shade. So when it was winter time and I was trying to look for something for, you know, in the Fenty range, something that was the closest to my skin tone was actually a little bit more on the yellow side. That's what I'm wearing today. And so one thing that I found out is those of you that use Fenty know that it dries down very, very quickly. Like it's like matte pretty much. So I actually started mixing a little bit of this with the Fenty and found that I got the best of both worlds. Fenty has more coverage. Um, it's more on the yellow tone. This is more on the pink tone. So when I mix it together, it actually comes out to being my perfect shade. And before it gets too, too hot and too deep into summer, uh, this actually gives me a little bit of moisture and a little bit of SPF, which I love because the Fenty doesn't have SPF. So I decided to give this another chance and I'm glad that I did because it actually mixes really, really well with some of the higher end foundations that are more matte. And it kind of gives my skin kind of like this more dewy natural finish that I love as y'all can tell. And um, it just kind of pulls back from that yellow a little bit so that it blends in a little bit better with my skin tone. So um, I decided to keep it for that. I'm glad I did because I was about to throw this away and just kind of give up on it. I thought it was absolute crap. But if I mix in a couple little dots of this with my foundation, it actually works out pretty well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I just thought I'd try something new and kind of give you guys kind of my feedback on products that I had completely like nixed out and decided to kind of go back to. And like this video if you want to see more. I'll be posting more as usual. Make sure to do well yeah. and be well, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Yeah.